Hey there. <laughs> I was literally just about to call you. How did the interview go? Huh? Oh, there you go. That's good. Okay. Punctual. You asked the right questions. Shoes were on the right feet. Well, I mean, the last time I called and asked these questions, all of the answers I got were no. So, considering that they are a yes this time, I'm guessing it went a lot better. I guess now all we can do is sit back and wait for good news. Actually, it's probably best not to think about it too much. How about we go... Really? They gave you it right on the spot. That's... That's amazing! No way! Look at you, Mr. Big Shot. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> That's awesome, congrats. You have to tell me how it all went down. I bet you walked in there like a freaking boss and just stared at them until they handed you the job. No? It wasn't anything remotely like that? I think you're just being modest. I know how long you've been waiting for an opportunity like this, and I've seen you get a little bit more filled up with, like, the tiniest bit of rage every time you get an opportunity taken away from you. I knew it was only a matter of time before all that rage boiled over and you weren't going to take no for an answer anymore. And finally, it pays off. Yeah, of course it does. I mean, look where it got you. <laughs> of course, of of course I noticed. I'm your best friend. I'm supposed... It's my job to notice things about you. Thanks. I'm lucky, too. So how exactly did you work your magic? Really? You want... Okay, yeah, we can go to dinner and you can tell me all about it. Tonight? Yeah. I can get off work at 6.30. Yeah. Should work. Is that good? Cool. You know where to go, right? Perfect. I'll see you there. Hey there. Oh, I love how it gets you every time. <laughs> Say what? What, hello? Or sneak up on you? Um, well, when I sneak up on you, that means I like you. If, if I approach you directly, then there is reason to be concerned. Besides, when I walk into a room, people know the party's getting started. Yep, Vixie time is always party time. Except this time. Tonight is all about you, Mr. Big Shot. Are you kidding me? It's a major deal. You did what most people think is impossible, and actually landed your dream job. Okay, fine. Look, I won't make it any more of a big deal, but just know that I'm super proud of you, and I can't wait to watch you go off on this new adventure. Of course I'll be there. I'll be there the whole way. What else would I do with myself? I know, I know. We're not always on... You know, the best of terms, but I think that's part of being friends with each other. Sometimes it's difficult to be friends with the both of us. Besides, I think we've done a pretty good job at making it up for lost times. To call our friendship an adventure would be kind of an understatement, but this bar is kind of where it all began, huh? Remember, I was dating he who must not be named, and you were, and you were still dating the ultra cunt? I'm sorry, she who must not be named? And the three of you were the only people who showed up to my birthday party. I mean, yeah, it was nice and intimate, except for the part where the two nameless assholes insert here tossed us aside, hooked up with each other in the span of like, what was it, like a second, and left. It was like, we hooked them up. Did we get the last laugh, though? We didn't even know each other very well back then. But I remember that night. We sat, we talked, we drank until closing. And put it all in that bitch's tab. Which I hear she's still paying off, by the way. <sighs> Revenge never tasted so sweet. But enough about the past. Let's look ahead to the future. 
Come on, let's change the subject. What do you want to talk about? Well, yeah, I'd imagine someone in your position making more money than you used to. Which is good, because that means you'll be taking care of our bar tab for the foreseeable future. Hmm? What do you mean you're planning on being able to take care of a lot more than that? Wait, what? Take care of me? Keep me happy? You really think the reason we're not together is because you've never made enough money to keep me happy? Really? Really? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? First of all, I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. You know better than anyone how those relationships went. And you know for damn sure that I never dated any of those guys for their money. Second. Are you the last person in the world. What? Ever thought I'd have to explain this to? Do you, even, <laughs> do you even know why that is? Because no one has ever made me as happy as you have. No matter what going on in my life, I knew I could always depend on you to be there and make me feel safe. You were the only person who never used me for anything. You just wanted to be my friend. That's all you wanted. At least I thought you did. I have to get out of here. I have to go. No. No, I just... Just leave me alone. <laughs>